Hello and welcome. Today, well, we're going to be uh, looking at this. This is a little wooden plane that a friend of mine made uh, with his little CNC laser cutter engraver. Uh, he is a pilot and he made this as a little gift to me for me to ask me to be one of his groomsmen, which is pretty awesome. It has my name and initials on it and stuff. Uh, he's going to do something similar. I don't think this elaborate, uh, but he's going to make little wooden cardboard cutouts for his wedding. Uh, and it's going to be for people's names. So when you go to a wedding at the um, reception at the tables, usually you'll have little name tags so you know where to go. Well, he plans on laser engraving little planes with everybody's names on them. He said the hardest part is getting everybody's name into an SVG file. He can manually do it, but he has a long list of names. So our end goal here is to take a long list of names. And I have a list of, I think, 50 names I generated. And we're going to take that text, create uh, an SVG using a font file, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, and it doesn't take very long once you learn how to do it. I did find a program. Uh, so I look at different, many different ways of doing this. And I've done it manually a number of times, going into GIMP, typing something, or even drawing something, selecting an area, and then saying convert to line, and then exporting that line as S, uh, SVG. Uh, and then you can import it into Inkscape or uh, Blender and make a 3D model out of it. Uh, so that's just what we need to do. But the program I found will convert an image, a bitmap image, into an SVG file. It does a great job. It's in the repositories. You'll see it here in a moment. All the notes for this or an example script of this uh, will be on Pastebin. There should be a link in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and jump into the shell. So the first thing we need to do is generate uh, a bitmap image with our text. Now, if we look what's in the directory I'm in, I have two files. I have a font file, because if we don't have a font file, it's just going to use a very basic font, and we want something a little bit fancier. And we have a nameless file, which, if I cat out, is just a list of names. Now, this is a randomly generated list of names, fake names, and you'll see uh, some of them have accent marks, different accent marks. And it's important that your font supports those accent marks, otherwise those characters are going to disappear. So keep that in mind if you're going to be doing this. Um, so. First thing we need to do, as I said, I have a program that will convert bitmap images into SVG files, but we have to generate a bitmap image. I'm going to use Image Magic. Image Magic is a great program for converting and generating image. Think of it as GIMP or Photoshop for your shell. It is awesome. It's probably installed on your system. If not, it's definitely going to be in your repositories. Um, and we're going to use the convert command, which is part of the Image Magic package. Now, I'm going to be looking at my notes here. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to use the convert command. Also, let me also say, if you just Google uh, text to image with image magic, this is the page that comes up. It's a very detailed uh, with a lot of examples. And there's lots of different ways and, way and things you can do creating fonts. And I just selected one of these uh, to generate the text. There may be better options out there. But again, you can look at my example or you can use one of those other examples there. But I'm going to use the convert command. So I'm going to say convert dash dash size, we're going to just create an image of 600 uh, by 100. If you're going to have a really long text, you're going to want to make that uh, 600 a little bit bigger. XC equals white is just going to make the background white. Next, I'm going to give it a font name, so dash font and whatever your font name is. I just named mine font TFF or TTF, uh, true type font. And so we'll use that font. Then we're going to give it a point size, so the size for the font. So uh, point size, and I'm just going to do 72. Why 72? Uh, that's <laughs> the number they used in the example from that web page we were just looking at. Then I'm going to do dash fill right here, and I'm going to say black. So that's just going to say the background's white, the fill color is the color the text is going to be. Okay. Next, and again, there, if you look at that example page, there are a lot of uh, different examples of ways to uh, put text into a, an image, uh, and this is just... Uh, one I chose here, which is dash draw. We're going to say text 2565. Again, that's just what the example showed. I didn't. Uh, Image Magic is a great, great program. Uh, it can get a little complex, so I'm just going with the basic examples here. Now we're going to give it our text. I'm just going to say hello world, okay? And then I give it an output name. So I'll just say test.bmp. And if I typed everything right, I now have a BMP, a bitmap image. I'll bring over my file browser here, and you can see it right there with a the little thumbnail. Perfect. Okay, so now how do we convert that to an SVG file? Well, 
we're going to use the command patrace. I guess is how you say it, patres, patres. Again, it's in the package manager, at least for Debian. And we're going to do dash s and then give it the input file, which in this case is test.bmp. And then dash lowercase o and our output name, I'll just say test.svg. And when I hit enter, if I look back at my file browser here, you can see we now have an SVG here. Uh, and if I list it here, you can see it there. And I can open it with Inkscape uh, test.svg. Give Inkscape a second to open. And there's there it is as an SVG, right? We can also, if we wanted to, uh, close that. I can open up Blender. And in here, delete the default cube, F3 import SVG and I'm going to do it as a vector graphic and I am going to choose our directory here and choose our file and because of the options I used it's there it's just really really small and it's also three separate in this particular case uh, the letters that aren't connected are each separate objects so let's go ahead and select all three of those control J to join them and then I will just scale it up uh, maybe 50 that looks good and I'll just tab into edit mode select all and I'm gonna put it right there and of course we can go into our geometry here and extrude that boom now we got 3d text here scale that down on the z-axis anyway just showing you it is a SVG vector graphic now that can be used uh, in blender or Inkscape or if you're you know using a laser cutter now we've done that let's go ahead and use our name list here and just loop through all that so make this full screen I am going to now use our convert command from last time and what I'm really gonna do is I'm gonna bring this uh, line into uh, Vim here just to make things easier to type I'm gonna say cat our name list I'm gonna say while read name do and then I am going to say dollar sign name for our output so the file output file will be the person's name dot BMP and the text will be name as well after that we're going to use the pot race command dash s and we are going to give it our BMP and then we're going to say dash o and we're going to give the output of SVG. After it does that, I am going to oops, say remove and we'll re remove our BMP file and then we're done with our loop. So let me go ahead and exit back out to our shell here and oh did I just run it? I did not mean to run it. <laughs> I did run it. Look at that. It runs super fast. So we just did 50 names and it literally took probably less than two seconds to generate all these SVGs our, and it didn't remove our BMPs it should have, or it didn't remove the the test BMP that's fine so yeah we can look at all these and they all look fine except for again if one of them has a special character name so let's again let's cat out our name dot list and look at some of these that have special characters so like this Maria one Let's go ahead, come over here, and I'll type in M-A-R, and there you go. You can see this one worked fine. It has the little accent mark over there over the I. Let's look at this one. Uh, we'll type in S-I-E, and you can see, yep, that one got the U with the two dots over it, no problem. But if I remember correctly, when I ran the test before doing this video, if I check this one out, you'll see this one, the C with the accent mark, the C looks like it got cut off. So again, make sure that the font that you're using allows for special characters or at least the special characters you're going to use any accent marks and whatnot. So again, check out the link in the description of this video. There you can find an example script. Uh, again, you'll have to select a font and replace that, but it does. Uh, it is going to use wget to download some random names, but you can use whatever file you want. Um, but that's it. I hope you found this useful for generating SVG vector graphic text from a plain text list. Uh, 
If you have any questions, let me know. And please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris of the K. There's a link in the description to that as well. You can support me there. Uh, there's a support section where there's a link to Libre, Libre Pay and PayPal and, of course, Patreon, which there's a link to in the description of the video as well. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate your support. Like, shares, comments, and subscribing. As always, I hope that you have a great day.